Hey everyone, this is B, and I'm here to give you the final results of our painting um, part of our kitchen remodel. As I said in the previous video, we used the Valspar Signature Paint. The color that we chose was the Rugged Suede, and it turned out very nicely. The previous color that was in this kitchen was like a brown color. Uh, I'm not quite sure what kind of brown it was, but what we wanted to do was cool down the kitchen a little bit. I know most people like for their kitchens to be bright and white. I wanted something that was functional, something that was family friendly, guest friendly. We decided to go with a darker color, tone it down, cool it down. I think the terminology that I used for my husband was I wanted a romantic kitchen and I think this color achieves that look. Granite countertops still look great. I'm very pleased with them. In the first video that I did, I told you all that we were looking at restaining our cabinets to a darker stain. But once we put the paint color on the wall, it made our cabinets pop. So we decided to just stick with the cabinets, with the exception of the cabinet knobs. We are still going to change out our cabinet knobs. When we first purchased this home, the cabinet knobs were a brass color and I attempted to change them by spray painting them a nickel color. But what I didn't do was seal the color in and so now, I don't know if the camera will catch it, the paint is coming off and you can see that nickel, that brass coming through. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace all of the cabinet knobs. That's gonna be on our next phase of this kitchen remodel. Like I said before, what we're doing is doing a little bit at a time. We'll do some, we'll save, we'll do some, we'll save. The granite, while we did get a great deal on this granite, it took a big chunk of our budget out. We wanted to go ahead and get those installed. Our next thing that we want to do is to install the backsplash behind the stove. So we've got to save up for that. We want to purchase more pools and more knobs for the cabinets. I did not know cabinet knobs could be so expensive. The kind that I want are like $4 a piece. So with 30 plus cabinets, that gets up there real quick. So we've got to save up for those. I want to point out that I did with the cabinets to add that shine back to them. I found an online recipe that worked out great with removing grease from your cabinet and adding a luster back to it. Uh, the recipe called for a fourth cup of olive oil, a fourth cup of white vinegar, and two cups of lukewarm water. So the instruction said for me to just scrub the cabinets down real good, leave it on for about a minute, come back through with a damp cloth and just wipe it down. I tried to wipe down against the grain of the wood and it added a nice shine back to it. I really liked it. You see these doors right here? And over there above the microwave, we're going to have those replaced with custom doors, some sort of glass doors to add a little bit more character and accent to the kitchen. So this is where we are. I still have some more things that I need to do. I have different wordings that I want to put up on the wall, kitchen, eat here, family, stuff like that. So I've got to order that wording. We are still planning on installing a custom pantry door and laundry door. And I'm still going to be working on my coffee station. Um, the floors, we had Stanley Steamer to come in and give it a nice good scrubbing, give the tile and the grout a nice good cleaning. They do not add a seal on top of your tile. They do it for the grout, but not your tile. So my husband actually went to Lowe's and he purchased a sealant and he applied it to the floors and they look really good. They have a subtle sheen to them, which is what I really like. And now they're protected. It helps to keep our floors cleaner. As far as my curtains, I'm still gonna be saving up for those because I want ceiling to floor. The curtains of that length is not something that you can necessarily just go in the store and grab. They have to be custom ordered. So we're gonna save up for that. I'm still planning on replacing the lighting in this kitchen above the dining area. Um, this kitchen on this side comes off as a little darker because as you can tell, there's not much light. Even the ceiling fan that was here when we moved in, it doesn't have a lighting fixture. So we're gonna be installing lighting there and we're gonna have pendant lights added above the island. So I've been looking at, and I've actually found some that I would like, so we're gonna save up for those. And then of course, I'm gonna be putting some wall accents up to, uh, you see our family picture back here. 
we need to change out the framing or recolor the frame so that it's a lighter color or white or something like that to help it pop out against the wall. And then I'm looking for two mini buffet tables, one to put right up under where the picture is and over here where you see this frame. So I wanna have two there. My dream in life is to have the banquet seating at my dining room table. So we're planning on replacing the chairs. So yeah, we have some more things that we've got to work on, but this right here for right now, I think it's a pretty good start. Um, I added my pops the color of fall. Fall is one of my most favorite times of the year, fall and spring. And so I added our pops of color with some flowers, nothing big or fancy, something really simple. And this is the result. I do want to point out something, and this is where I want to encourage you all at. These chairs right here, we found uh, at actually a high-end furniture store here where we live, but they have a back area where they sell, I guess you can call it the reject furniture. <laughs> and so we went back there to get the reject furniture. These chairs have a slight of a, a bit of a wobble. So my husband is gonna have to do something to stabilize them. I mean, they're good sturdy chairs, but I guess that wobbling is not what they wanted, but however, it, whatever reason they put it back there, I'm just grateful because these chairs originally go for like $200 a piece, and I think we got them for $60 a piece. And so when I purchased these tables, when my husband got them for me, I told him, I said, I want my entire kitchen color scheme to be based around these chairs because they didn't go with the previous countertops nor the kitchen color. So when we bought these, when we chose paint color, when we chose our granite, we chose them based on this and this is where I pray that you all will be encouraged because a lot of times you can't just afford to go out and just buy everything and just totally redo a room. You have to do like my husband and I are doing. We have to buy a little bit at a time. So we bought a source of inspiration and we started building up and purchasing items based on that source of inspiration. So whatever it is that you want to do around your house, whatever it is that you want to do in life, purchase you a source of inspiration. Start yourself a hope chest. Buy yourself a storage unit if you can afford it and start buying those items and putting them away until you're ready to complete your project. This project is nowhere near completed. We still have quite a bit that we want to do, but I think this is a great start. Uh, chances are I'll probably post videos on other home projects, smaller projects that we're going to be doing while we save up for our towel. The towel is something that I really want to Put a lot of thought and consideration in because I've been doing a lot of reading and reviews and a lot of people say that your backsplash tile and your glass tile is great for kitchens where there is not a lot of cooking and we do a lot of cooking in this kitchen so I want to find something that's going to be functional that's going to be durable and that won't require a lot a lot of maintenance so we're, we're still researching that and I want it to be a really nice backsplash so we're saving for that and we're also saving for our cabinet lighting that we're going to put up up under here so yeah pray for me I'm excited but I'm patient I'm willing to wait save and be responsible but this is the result I hope you all like and I like to hear from you all I post up videos and sometimes people inbox me and they email me but hey y'all comment on the videos on Facebook comment down under, like down under, and on YouTube, down under. The inboxes are nice, but I like to hear from you on a public level. If you love me publicly, show it. <laughs> but this has been Bridget. I hope this has been a blessing for you all, and I look forward to hearing about more about your projects. You all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.